if you can hear tapping, it's my dog. I apologise. He's, he's, he's 14 years old and he's just barred me. So, from Brewdog and McKellar. Good evening. It's um, a collaboration brew. It's called Urban Fog. It's a New England IPA. New in its Sainsbury's. Um, it does say on the back some... But it's really, really hard to read. Hello again. I know, I'm, I'm going to kick him out in a minute. Do me bolting. I think he's been for a poo because he, he's, uh, he's getting excitable. Yeah, I knocked some cans on the floor. I must remember to click the last button before I say anything. Or, or do it muffled. So, oh my gosh. So, it's really, really hard. In darkness, it's really hard to read this in the light. Two cities become one. My God, it's hard. So it pours it. Oh, I'll just read it. I'll just... Uh, good evening. I can't read the back. Uh, the ABV, I will read that out. It is... Wow. It, I'll tell you what, in this light, it's terrible. Um, the can. So shiny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no lagginess, no. Usually I can see it first, if I'm being honest. So, in my brew dog glass. Yeah. <laughs> you would, mate. You would, because you can't read the back. It's really bad. You know, if you're not in a, if you're not in a room. So it looks a juicy pour, doesn't it? It's a New England IPA. I did say that, didn't I? You know, I'm just, I forget so quickly. New England IPA, carrot rind. Wow. Um, 6.5%. Orangey looking pour. Uh, centimetre of white head. Hoppy tropical nose, and I'm getting a weird smell of bubble gum. I didn't read, but I'm sure I didn't read bubble gum earlier. But I just got a hint of bubble gum there, and I'm still getting a hint of bubble gum. Oh well, that's a bit weird. Um, are they? I'll just put the comments on the screen if I can actually get it to reach over. So yeah, free McKellar beers um, that were in stock anyway. I, didn't, I can't remember if there were some more. The Brew York one wasn't in stock. Oh, sorry. Dear, oh dear. Shocking. Shocking. Right, I'm, I'm definitely getting a, a whiff of bubble gum. There's a definite whiff of bubble gum. Right. Different. Let's go. An initial dryness on the mouth. Four beer holders. Lots of beer hall videos. Are you going to start doing beer hall videos? So we can see what you're getting. Yeah. And it's another good way to get people to join your channel. It's different. It is different. Yeah, you need to. It's a good way of bringing uh, people to your channel. But also, it depends how much time you've got. Because to be honest, social media is a killer. It takes so long. You prefer the Michaela Stouts? I don't think I've had a Michaela Stout, you know. He does. He always gets new stuff before me. I check, I check Bowman out before I check anybody else out. Because I think that's no... Obviously, apart from Sainsbury's, they're... Carlisle's having a bit of mis malfunction with Sainsbury's at the moment, at the moment at least. Knocking down walls on a house project. Bless you. <laughs> and McKellar what? McKellar heated seats and New England pale. Right. Ooh. 
there's one thing you know with beer drinking, it's a bloody expensive hobby, isn't it? Craft beer drinking, it's at, at, the, at the least. Simon's had a word with Sainsbury's. Yeah, I don't think he's got much store with Sainsbury's. <laughs> the missus is out. Oh, you don't you know what you spend? My missus knows everything I spend. Sadly. Yeah. I haven't told her yet that I'm going to... Uh, when my Go when my Google money finally appears, finally, uh, my website earnings and any earnings I've earned off YouTube, when and if and when they show up, I'm going to buy a pinter. She'll be well impressed. Yes, another red card. Another bollocking. Yeah, that's why I'm going back into quite a bit of brewing as well. Yeah, there's a balance. I need to get the balance. Uh, I can't afford to be buying all these craft beers. So I'll let them with a bit more money get the expensive craft beers. And I'll stick to my local, my supermarkets and my own brew. And I think there, I think there's my my area of expertise uh, well none about expertise you know i don't ever think i'm an expert but that's my area what's a pinter is it liam will, liam will be able to explain it far better than i can it's basically like a draft homebrew machine if 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 i'm right in my pronunciation of it the red can on your the bottom of your shelf this one Not that one. See, all my money goes into one account. We don't have... Um, the only money that I keep separately is my uh, gardening money. Yeah, so I have no money. Or that side, the red one. No? Cloud water there. Or do you mean the, um, the Australian jobby on the far end? Oh, the Australian beer. Yeah, I got this from... Um, hello again. And how are you? Yeah, Juicy IPA. This was from oh, Beer Hawk's Australian box set. And uh, I'll review it at some stage. At some stage. Beer 52. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boardside is nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Gilbert T. Kodaka. Hmm. I sometimes wonder, you know, when people come in, if they've got a, like a, a pseudo name like Slurpee. <clears throat> I might be wrong, but uh, you never know. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, juicy pour. I know. Oh, Tom, it's all right. It is a juicy pour. Tropical on the taste. Good evening. Yeah, Marvel names the same. You know, sometimes you, you, you get to see what certain people say and you recognise mannerisms. And it might be the case that some people's mannerisms are very similar to others and their sense of humour is very similar as well. Ever made coffee wine? No, mate. No. How the hell do you make coffee wine? Wow. And what coffee do you use? Cheap stuff or decent or expensive. Yeah, yeah. 21st. Oh, wait. I wish I was 21 again. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, very much a juice fest of a beer. See, back in my internet days, I'm known as Ragster. And you'll see that name across the internet. Uh, hopefully no, no, bad, no bad words against me. Uh, obviously, there's always somebody who's not going to like you, you know. 
and if that happens I'll just block and delete them <laughs> off my website yep I don't like you go but um but for this for the beer reviews I, I went with raggy instead I didn't want to do ragsters beer reviews yeah I know <laughs> I don't know who's done that <laughs> good evening Mr Slurpee and welcome Castle Rock Arvis Gold. Arvis Pale, you mean? You do mean Arvis Pale, don't you? <laughs> I do love the interaction. In, the, our interaction here, I find, is better than any of the other channels that I've watched who use StreamYard predominantly. It seems to be a lot slower on StreamYard. I know it's difficult when it's a collab. That's something that's going to be interesting on collabs. Because um, obviously you don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to... Uh, I'm just reading that comment. Yeah, um, You don't want to uh, cut across the other beer reviewer if you're on with another beer reviewer. But you do want to be able to keep up with the comments. So it, there's an interesting balance. He's probably gone and sat up the arse now, a bit peed off. He's probably up the arse thinking, that dad of mine, he's a, ba he's a bugger. He's left me out here. No, not the Embry kits haven't showed up yet. No, there's going to be videos mm -hmm. coming, lots of videos. And another, another one of our good friends, uh, Blue Nose, Harry, he's doing a, a blueberry juice wine. And he did a live earlier. And although his his methods are different to mine, it'll be interesting to see how, how it turns out. <laughs> that didn't. <laughs> Iced tea IPA? No, no. There's, there's a certain there's a, there's a certain line I'm not going to cross. Um, I'll probably stagger them because, to be fair, uh, for the ones that I need to add stuff to, um, I can't be taking money out of the kitty. So I'll wait till I've got the gardening spare gardening money for it. So I'll probably do one a week. The first one will be the um, the barley wine. I'm doing a, um, a barrel-aged uh, barley wine with ginger. So that'll be blooming interesting. And I'll be chucking the ginger in at the first, at the start. So it'll be a, basically a ginger barley wine. Yeah, there are quite a few Earl Grey IPAs, isn't there? We're a month behind. The whole season across the UK is a month behind. Fuchsia's normally... Oh, here he is. If, if you could hear me, I'd tend to pee off. Um, but he can't hear me. Yes, I boil the ginger in water first and then I chuck it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I boil it, or steep it, that's what you want to call it. And then I chuck it in. And that gives off quite a good ginger aroma. It stays there throughout the start of the brew. <laughs> I know, he's a bogger, isn't he? It stays there throughout the start of the brew. And it'll. I'll take the the ginger root out. In fact, no, I'll leave the ginger root in, even in, until the very last moment when I bottle it or I barrel it. I'm not sure if I'm going to barrel it or bottle it. The only thing with... The only thing with bottling, the barreling lava, is as soon as I crack it open, it might, it might, um, you've just sent me the recipe. I've seen something come through on the top. I'll have a look at that later. Cheers. It's different. Yeah, yeah, uh, the dafts are just coming to the end here. Yeah, it is, it is, it's proper, it's strange. Sold out, I'm not surprised, mate. Although, although the two blokes in West Bridgeford look frozen. <laughs> I did feel sorry for him. And he says to me, he says, uh, you only allowed one of each. I said, I know, mate. And uh, he didn't even recognise me. I thought, yeah. But I, I, I don't know them people. I know the owner. I know the boss. Well, not the owner. The owner's in that other man. But I know the boss of um, the 
club boss at the moment of Castle Rock because he came to my house and brought me a, a glass round and two and two cans, which was very nice, very nice indeed. <laughs> yes, yes. When Charlie goes for a poo poo, he uh, he likes to run around like a nutter. Yeah, we've still got cherry blossom in Nottingham as well. Well, in Newark, especially. It don't, it don't get, we don't seem to get no bits from it. I've never had any bits off a of ginger root. It doesn't seem to mash up that much. Rhubarb, yes I have. Oh my gosh, yes I have. A grape, apple and strawberry juice that makes a great wine. Ooh. Might do that, might get six cartons of that, six bags of sugar, yeast, and uh, see where it goes. I need to find my... Um, Hydrometer, which means I need to go for all the crap at the right hand side that you can't see, thankfully. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, in full cherry blossom. Some some cherry cheese have, have already been and gone, but there's obviously later ones, and the later ones are still there in, in, good, in good form. My pear tree, that's been and gone. My cherry tree is just starting to get leaves, and my prune tree, I don't know what, what's happening with that. Peed off with that, it's not even showing any leaves yet, it's not dead either. But I think it's the weather, it's just, I think it's all down to the temperature. Blueberries juice wine, it makes a nice juice wine, blueberry juice does. But the only thing is you have to be uh, careful with the uh, fermentation because it doesn't always ferment all the sugars out. Blueberries are known for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got an hydrometer somewhere. Somewhere, I'll find it some, at some stage. Pedigree's not the beer it was. Sad, isn't it? Marston's have done a bit of a number on their beers. Cut the prune tree down. <laughs> Plum. It was coffee. I was doing a beer warm and uh, I needed a cup of coffee while I was doing it. As you do. So, got to say, it's okay as a, as, as a beer, the Brewdog versus McKellar, but I wouldn't say it's there. Um, I know, I need to get, I need to try and get it working. I put a new battery and it don't work. What a shame though, because it's it's the anniversary of when I got married. So yeah. So yeah. I'll move that out of the way so you can actually see. So that's that's the that's the thing. So that's when we got married. Um 11th of July 1998. 23 years ago this year. However, she's put me up for 23 years is, is a mystery. Then again, none of us are perfect in life. You know, we all do things that um, annoy each of us at times and whatnot. Did he? Well, he's wrong. He's wrong. It's won awards. But this is where beer reviewers are all different. I don't go for drama. That's not my sort of reviewing. Simon is a bit of a showman, so he'll go whichever way he goes. And obviously taste buds, all our taste buds are very different. But I thought it was a really nice beer. But that again, doesn't mean we all will. But two out of ten is very harsh. Yeah, very, very harsh. Yeah. Depends what he's drank before. Depends what his mood is. All these factors. <laughs> All these factors, I've got to say things like that. All these factors um, come into play. Is it? Oh. I mean, I had a duff can the other week that totally brewed. And they never sent me the spare can out. Yeah. 
and the and the extra can they were supposed to send me. Yeah. Oh, we'll send you a spare can out and another can. Yeah. Never showed up. I ain't complained because that's not the person I am. But uh, yeah, it would have been nice to honour what they said. You know. At times, all these factors make a difference. All factors do. I think it's about three quid to three fifty a can. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best that brew dog do that's for sure um but it's interesting you know it's it is what it is it's a juice fest of a beer one would hope that was a duff bottle because if it wasn't that was disgusting it's got to have been a duff bottle you would think that somebody from um wild beer would watch that review and think that's not our beer and say look um i want to send you a beer send you the beer as it should be and uh, because i don't like being awful on beer reviews it's not my way i like to be critical but certainly not awful on that beer review and there's only about 10 or 12 beers that i've actually been awful on and that was probably one of them That twice as nice wasn't nice, no. <laughs> what a name. I'm not paying £7.50 again. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. Not a second time. Because if it happened again, I'd be like Scott and he we, we lo just lobs the bottle and has a rant, a real rant. So no, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll leave it be. I know, I know, I'd absolutely have a dicky. Especially if I paid another £7.50. I mean, seven pound. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it, beer costs a lot of money, and uh, you can't be wasting good money on crap beer. Um, so it's disappointing when you come across beers that don't either hit the spot or there's something not quite right with them. Yeah, salt eye cat's quite nice. It's, it's a good beer. Yeah, I think that's one of the new ones in. Thank you, mate. Is that showing up to everyone? You daft sod. You don't need to do things like that. You really don't. Make me feel all bad. And you know, with all of us, um, like I said last night, it's all about community helping each other. That's what community is all about. Uh, you know, just being there. Um, ten cans of twice shite for two thousand subscribers. Jesus, it won't be expensive, but oh my god, could you imagine? What we need to do is come up with. Um, I don't. Two thousand subscribers could be a long, long way away. Who knows? I just don't know. You know, you don't know, do you? It could never happen. Um, I look at other beer reviewers. Beer reviewers who had quite a few subscribers when I started, and they aren't at 2,000 yet, and then others have flown past it. So I think it depends. Um, making me feel really red faced now. Uh, <clears throat> it'd be interesting to. Um, am I on fast chat? Um, I think I enabled super chat the other day when I was drunk. Uh, I was trying to go through, I was trying to upload a banner. And I was clicking yes, yes, yes to all different things. And um, you've had a tough four weeks, mate. You know, life sometimes is a shit. Good evening. <laughs> Don't you make me feel bad. <clears throat> so, yeah. Hazy, orangey looking pour, like a darky orange, isn't it? It's hard to, you know, sometimes, does anybody else get the same thing? Ten, ten glasses of prune juice, that's easy. Yeah, I could do. Oh, my, my subscribers jump up and down like a woman's knickers, a prostitute's knickers. They go up one day, then down by three, then up by five, then down by three, and I'm like, oh, for God's sakes, 
why are you subscribe and unsubscribe? Either don't subscribe, or you know, and or or whatever, you know. Um, I, uh, it's, I reckon it's all bots either. I reckon the majority of the subscribers are bots across every single channel on YouTube. There's lots of bots. And as soon as you ban them, because that's what I do, I report and ban a lot of them. And um, I reckon that's why mine keep up and down in. Um, like a, yeah. So, 25 minutes in. Dog's looking at me. Um, I need to finish this beer if you have to get on to the next. Uh, 41 people watching. Good evening to everyone in the background. This is a brand new beer from Sainsbury's. It's a collaboration beer, but from, from the very well-known Brewdog and the very well-known McKellar. Uh, you should know that both of these are um, brilliant beer, you know, beer makers. Yeah, yeah, I do go to the... Um, yeah, the bots pee me off. There's too much of it. This Netflix, something about Flix, Flix Zone. God knows what that is. I actually went on it the other day to see what it was. It wasn't interesting. I tried to get on the videos, but you have to pay. And I thought, I'm not paying for videos. Um, no, I don't do it for money. No, 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 no. Uh, anyway, I'll go into review mode and kill this review off, basically. So, as you can see, hazy, orangey-looking pour. Can't tell you what's on the back. It is a 6.5% New England IPA. The la the writing on the back is awful. There's the writing, if any... Look at that. I mean, how can you read that? Can anybody even decipher any of that? The silver's the wrong blooming colour. Ah, well, that I'll get into on the next review. If you're back for the next review, I'll tell you the agenda. Oh, wrong way around. Some good, some good stuff coming up for next week. Yeah, and tomorrow onwards. So a nice hoppy tropical nose on this. I need to get him a bed in here so he sits down. Oh, for out. I hate being old to him as well. Old man. He's about 101 in year, our years. Tropical tasting. Gotta say, it's an okay beer. I, as it's a collaboration between Brewdog and McKellar. Birdies. Um, as it's a collaboration between Brewdog and is after a doggy beer. It probably is. <laughs> after his, because it's a collaboration between these two, I would expect something that really um, accentuates their brand, pushes their brand up. But it doesn't. It's it's a nice beer. Don't get me wrong. But it's not, it's not a, a beer that says, I'm a New England IPA. I'm the best in the game. But still a good tasting beer. Um, how old am I? Uh, 49. Hate it. Hate it. Wait till you're 49. If you're 49 already, that is. Um, kills you, mate. Don't ever get older. Live life. Don't ever wish to be older. It just kills you. Kills you, honestly. You look in the mirror, you think, I'm never as old as that person. I'm still a naughty person who's got a really bad sense of humour, uh, who, who, you know, who doesn't feel grown up in any way, shape or form. And uh, and I'm there today holding my grandson for an hour and a half with him on my arm. He's killing me arm. I've got the worst arm ache ever. And he's there. He's only a few weeks old, mind you. And I'm rocking him, getting him back to sleep, remembering what I did. And, uh, you know... Hour and a half, and end up watching Blue Nose's uh, blueberry wine re um, making of, and it got me through the hour. Although I still had the worst arm ache. Um, 50 on the June the 24th, and I will be coming live. Might be a late one. I need to get the time off work as well the next day. I need to get my birthday off. 
and the next day off. And then I'm down Southampton. So some late night reviews from Southampton. Or down Mirrors. I, do you find that you look in some mirrors, you look great. You look and you think, oh God, I do look handsome. And then you look in other mirrors and you think, who the hell's that idiot looking back at? And uh, it's June the 24th, mate. Yeah. So, need to kill this beer review off. Do apologise. Uh, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the wife's car, the new car, down. And uh, we're going to Paulton's Park for two days. So we're stopping over in, in Southampton. Don't know what it's like. Never been. And we're having two days on the theme park. And uh, two nights, probably. I may even... Um, if Scott and Wanda are actually available, um, drive over to Portsmouth, because it's not too far away. The wife will drive, I can have a drink, and uh, as you do, and uh, drive over there and um, Peterborough. Peterborough's not far away. You're not far away from um, Smiling Grape Company, low cost beer. Good evening, Neil. I'm just about to end this beer review. Did I say out of five? Don't think I did. Um, don't think I said out of five, did I? I've seen other people go on about care packages. Hugh. Yes, Scott and Wanda. Oh, I think they're lovely people. Yeah. Scott's had a tough time, to be fair. And, uh, and still having a tough time, you know, with his child. So sad so sad and uh, you know there needs to be fairness in the world hopefully he'll get his fairness at some stage but he's not the only one i know other people um that have, that have gone through the same situation as him and still not able to see their sons and it, it is awful god awful hopefully he'll get it resolved it, it's something british law needs to change you know not all not all women are bad are good mums there are bad mums you know, and not all dads are bad dads. You know, something that needs, it does need to change. It does, yeah, yeah. Do you know, when his child gets to 16 years old, he will resent his mum and she will regret it. And I shouldn't really be talking about their life on my channel, but, you know, it is. I mean, he's come on here and he, he seemed quite upset over it. And hopefully he'll get it sorted because he's a good bloke. Cracking sense of humour. And uh, hopefully he won't take offence of uh, any comments I've just said, but it's all meant in, in, in his goodness. Um, yeah, out of five. For me, it was a good beer, don't get me wrong, but it certainly didn't hit the spot. You know, it, um, I'd give it about a 4.2 out of five. From, from such big names, although big, Brewdog are a big name, but are they the best anymore? No. <laughs> some some beers, yes. Back in the third review in two minutes. Right. Back in a minute. Cheers all. Two minutes. Or even less. I don't even need a wee either. Well, yeah. Why well, are they ever the best? No. They've just got the loudest voices. 